so here's a question: yeah. Is is it? Uh, I know that revenue from YouTube has like been totally messed with for the past couple of years. Is it financially viable for the work you do to actually do these videos? Do you make enough money to justify them? Way more than I deserve. Really? Uh, the caveat is, I don't live in a mansion. I don't drive a Ferrari. I, and I, man. Okay, in October they flew. YouTube flew me to Mountain View to give me the, they make these little play buttons carved out of silver and yeah. they give out some other trinkets and they, you, you go on like this red carpet thing because there are actual famous people getting these things and then I'm just like there because they mistook me for a famous person basically and I met all these other YouTubers and they're some of the most stressed out people I've ever met in my <laughs> life because they, they do have these like lavish lifestyles. That's then. their way of making and, a living too. And they, do, they are still suffering from the Oh, You're living like a drummer. <laughs> totally, man. And I, uh, and I have more than I could. Do. I, I eat all the calories I want every day. Um, I, I sleep in a temperature-controlled room. I don't know what. The, what else do I? Dude, need? they're in trouble. YouTube is in trouble because if the music community, mm. like I told Mike, it's like COVID really didn't affect songwriters because songwriters weren't making any money anyhow, <laughs> right? So There's like the cockroaches. We just like you could step on us, but we'll still come up from underneath a, you know, an old shoe, you'll see us, and, you know, but if musicians can get on it and like with the lifestyle and what they need to support themselves, if they go into YouTube, all those YouTubers are done because they just aren't prepared for that crew of zombies to come into that world <laughs> and take it over. Gotcha. I hear that.